Hey guys, long time no see. I know, I'm sorry. Um, there's like a whole explanation for it, but I want to come back with this tutorial because it is the look that I've been wearing a lot recently and it's like very like 90s grungy looking makeup. As you can see, the whole choker trend has come back so it fits perfectly with this makeup look that I have on right now. It's super easy and simple to do. You can find these colors from any brand. It doesn't have to be the palette that I'm using for this video. Um, but the whole reason why I haven't posted in like, what, two, three months? That's a long time. Um, it's because my Sony camera that I was using, the A5100, just completely stopped working on me in the beginning of June. I was actually using it to record my sister's graduation and it just stopped working on me. Actually, the warranty on it, I think, expired like three weeks before my camera stopped working. So I took it to Best Buy. I wanted them to fix it. And they were like, we just don't think it's worth for you to fix it. Instead, you should just buy yourself a whole new camera. So I was like, really? So I thought about it for like a month. And then I just finally decided, you know what? Let me just invest money in a really good camera that's gonna last me for a good amount of years that I don't have to like upgrade every year. I feel like I sold my soul for this camera <laughs> just because it's so expensive but I got the Canon EOS 70D which is from what I saw from a lot of videos it's like the most popular camera to use for YouTube so I'm like let me just invest in this camera and hopefully it just it works for me so it is actually what I'm using right now I'm still trying to figure out the camera and all that so it's not really set on anything it's just whatever this camera is set on I just left it like that and I just kind of want to feel it out for the first time see what it looks like to actually record a video so that being said this intro is just ugh, so long we're just gonna get into the video, okay? So, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. <laughs> okay, so, I just dropped my brush. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna start off with the Anastasia Modern Renaissance Palette. I bought it over the weekend when I went to go visit my friend in Odessa. <laughs> the video! Oh, oh! They can be like so we are going to take raw sienna from the palette right here put that all over the crease it's going to be like the transition shade when i went to odessa to go visit my friend i did have the intention of vlogging but obviously that didn't happen um, the whole reason why I even went was because we went to go to a country concert. We went to go see Josh Turner. Now we're going to take this color right here and we're going to pack this on all over the lid. And then just take my fluffy blending brush and blend it all together. Like I said, with this look, it doesn't have to be perfect, which is why I love it, because you can just do it really quickly. So now taking Tempera from the palette, I'm going to use this as my highlight shade. Now we're pretty much going to repeat the exact same steps on the bottom lash line. I'm going to take raw sienna first and then put some of the red orchard or ochre orchard um, right on top. So it's exactly the same thing. This is why I didn't want to put my contacts on because I get all the eyeshadow into my eye when I work on my bottom lash line. I know they say that when you wear contacts, you should put on your contacts first before you do your makeup, but I don't like to because I get all like the eyeshadow fallout into my eye and then it all get all over my contact. I don't like that. So I actually wait until I completely finish all of my makeup. Now taking 
an angled brush I'm going to take the dark brown shade which I have no idea what it's called but it's right here it's like the only dark color in the palette and we're gonna take the angled brush and we're gonna smudge that into the top and bottom lash line which is going to give kind of like the liner effect without having to use actual liner and again it doesn't have to be perfect because we're just blending it out so we're just packing it on I guess like the messier the, the eyeshadow is the better it looks A really small brush with some fix plus on it I'm gonna take this gold shade called Primavera right here and we're gonna place this into the inner corners of our eyes just to add a little extra something something into the look now taking this eyeliner from Tarte I'm gonna use the pencil liner and I'm just going to place this on the waterline, just had a little extra darkness, I guess you can say. Mm, right here. And this pencil is like really creamy. So I went ahead and applied some mascara just to save some time. Now I'm going to put on some lashes. I'm using these lashes right here from Ilore number... 115 they're the lengthening style i love these lashes these are my favorite everyday lashes because i can wear them without anything on my eyes just lashes and they don't look dramatic but they also add just enough drama to your eyes to a look that's like something like this so While the glue dries on the lashes, I'm going to go in with the lips. I'm going to line my lips first with the Jordana Lip Liner in Baby Berry, which is my favorite lip liner. I've gone through like four of these already. Now taking this liquid lipstick from Dose of Color in the shade Mood, we're going to place this right on top. So this is the finished look right here again super easy and simple hopefully you guys get what I was saying about the lashes how they don't look like they're much but they add just like enough drama but that is it on this look I hope you guys enjoyed it I've been very into like the whole choker thing right now as you can see um, I used to actually wear them when I was younger in the 90s the I have one I just don't know where it's at but like the little, I don't know, like the braided looking ones. I used to wear those all the time when I was a kid in elementary school. So forget to subscribe. Honestly, if you guys really do want to keep up with me, I suggest you like go follow me on Snapchat. Because I try to make it interesting sometimes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. I am so sorry that like my whole fan is like in the back. It's really hot in here. I do not have AC vents in my room. It's outside of my bedroom. I don't know why my dad decided to make the upstairs like that.